this is the type of rivalry I want to see, especially yep. in a division where the Houston Astros have dominated year in and year out for the past, what, six years? At least, yeah. Here we go, Bruce Bochy coming in with Marcus Simeon, and they're not going to lay down. And you listen to some of the other sound from last night following that comeback win, and they said that moment served as motivation, not only to avoid getting swept, not only to go ahead and come back and win this, to stay ahead in the division, but also when you're looking at the head-to-head -head record, that's going to be the tiebreaker yeah. at the end of the season. Excellent. Your blood is boiling. Well, I mean, you just, as a player, you think about, you put yourself kind of in the clubhouse, right? And you think about being in the dugout and your Don gets hit early, right? His first at bat. The side back. that he was injured on. Yeah, his first at bat back. And you, it's up and it's up. It's not down, it's up. So you get him pretty square, right? And it's a two strike. So it's not necessarily on purpose, but at the same time, if I'm Framber, I got to protect my guy a little bit, right? So I'm going, you go after my big guy, I'm going after your big guy. Now, what I thought was done the right way is Simeon answered it the right way by hitting the home run. And I thought Framber got out of his game a little bit because Framber's a guy that's not usually emotional. He's really calm when he pitches. I think ultimately him hitting uh, Simeon kind of got him out of his game. But Simeon answered back the right way. And I think they both were... Maldonado and Simeon both drawn a little bit. Like so, to he me, used to be division foes when Simeon was with Oakland. Like so literally, what would happen? But Oakland literally, no, literally, nothing, nothing happened that was like out of control. Luckily, yeah. To to me, so it was like just a little bit of that animosity going back. I home. love. I like it. I love the passion. The AL West is heating up. The Texas Rangers have stayed in first place of this division for pretty much the season. The Astros are right there. The odds keep moving back and forth between these two of who's favored. You're seeing it out there on the field finally that these teams are starting to hate each other. I love the it. Rangers are 4 and 6 this season against the Astros and they're 53 and 37 against everybody else. The Rangers have looked great until the Astros come along. They cannot Texas get swept in their last series next in September. Because if they do, then they lose that head-to-head -head tie break. You know, it's funny. I, I, I want to root against the Astros every single day. Every time I see them on the field, I want to root against the Astros. Sorry, you Astros. And mo no, I, you and most people everybody, probably, yeah. right? But then I see Dusty Baker give an interview, and I can't root against the Astros. How can I you want, not love him? I need him in another World Series. I need right? the Astros there because I need more Dusty Baker in my life. And like you've talked about, with a, you know, as a player's perspective, I used to, the only thing I do have an issue with is headhunting. I have a serious issue right. with any sure. se semblance of headhunting, mainly because everybody now and their cousin throws 98-plus. I mean, five years ago, there was uh, half of the people were throwing 98. 95 was kind of the benchmark. Now it's 98 to 103 where everybody's throwing. So headhunting is something I'm adamantly against. I used to get in the batter's box all the time when we were jawing with other teams. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, in the back. Hit me in the back. I'll run to first base. We got no problem. But if it comes in my head, right. catcher, I'm coming for you first, and then I'm <laughs> going out there. Yeah. How many times has that happened? Only twice, but we were good. I never really went out there. We were all good. Did you, well, did how I, many did you actual kick the fist catcher fights have you? first? <laughs> no, but that is a clutch move if you're going to do it. Move. Just saying, it's next level. You know that. You know this get them off their You've seen the video. Definitely next level. Definitely next level. <laughs> Turtle, and then you go out. Well, I'm not very fast, and I never was. I don't want Wrong this guy in here actually He's catching me. He's already behind you. you. Yeah. You don't know how slow I was. He could have caught me in his gear. But you know what? I like what the Rangers did yesterday is because they continue to just play their game. And I thought, you know, Simeon marking a little bit, but Simeon, Simeon did what he needed to do. Nathaniel Lowe did what he needed to do. Adolis Garcia did what he needed yep. to do. This team, to me, it's they have immense power, but their approach at the plate is so good. They don't have to hit homers. These guys are unselfish. They let the get next guy take care of business. Everybody stays through the middle of the field. That's what I love about this Texas team is they know how to put up runs in a hurry. Mm -hmm. And the biggest thing for the Astros yesterday was their best pitcher was only able to go three and a third inning. Huge. That's they a, got that's, him off his game. Like you said, Marcus Simeon, one of the biggest leaders in baseball. I talked to Bruce Simeon Martin Arlington about him. He's, it's his work ethic. It's his leadership. He goes about his business He's the right dog. way. He's a dog. Everyone wow. has mad respect for him, including Martin Maldonado. Can I say mad respect? Does that sound of cool? Of course. Yeah. I felt like Better it's a slap. It's, it's like Louis slaps. <laughs> I told Louis Manny slap. Machado that like Louis Vuitton slaps. And don't. Don't, oh, don't no, revisit. No, 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 why do I keep incriminating myself? I don't. 
go. And it just everything circles you back chose to that. This. But what I Ariel said though, the West is getting crazy. It is, like, and like, that's what because we because want. I, because We've the angels, we cannot now. We, we can't angels. count out the angels. Let's at not this forget point about the Mariners. Bit. Yeah, to J Rod. No, keep in mind the Mariners have been bad in the first half of the last two seasons. They've done second half pushes each season, and I've been waiting for the Mariners to finally do their second half push. If they start getting going, keep in mind they're just right around 500. They're just behind the angels right now. I'm just waiting for Texas to make a move for a pitcher. They need bullpen help. That's for sure. They're yeah. a bottom 10 bullpen in ERA. How are you going to replace DeGrom? You lose your ace for the season. Nathan Evaldi just missed the start against their rivals, a team that's trying to catch them for first place. Don't tell me that Evaldi is fine. You don't <laughs> miss that start unless something's wrong with you. If there is an injury to him, now who are you yeah, going to Yeah, but at the same time, if you're Evaldi, you don't, you don't want to cost one start to, to mess up the rest no, of the No, but season. I'm saying they're banged up in that starting rotation. Uh, yeah, are the Rangers going to go and get somebody? At this point, somebody? most guys are banged up. So if I'm Evaldi, same thing with the Dodgers and Kershaw, and you're, you take a t couple steps back to be ready for September, I'm okay with that. Are the Rangers going out for another starter, though? Are they in the mix for a Stroman or a Snell, one of those? I, I think so. And the reason why I say it is because they're already all in. They already gave a half a billion dollars two off seasons ago for their, for their middle infield. Went in all in on the staff this this off season. Why not continue to add and just because you already see the evidence in front of you. You lured Bochi out of retirement. You're all in. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And keep my legs. Are we sitting. Here, we got the trade deadline in less than a week. We got to pretend. We can't sit here and pretend that the Astros aren't going to try to add. That the Mariners aren't going to try to add. We already know that the Angels are trying to add. That first place spot for the Texas Rangers is not written in stone, even a little bit right not now. Not to say the Astros won't add. They'll find maybe something. They just needed to get healthier. You haven't had Jordan Alvarez or Jose Altuve in more than 15 games together right. this season. The bats, their pitching has been banged up, or Kitty will be back next month. Still a top five team ERA in baseball. It's their lineup that has had to slowly get better and healthier. That's why the Astros aren't a team I throw in the mix so much for the trade deadline as much as the Texas Rangers. I don't know if you guys have noticed, and I posted this earlier today because I talked about this yesterday. Oh, I have alerts every time Network. our uh -oh. name pops uh -oh. up. No, yeah, we just sit and we watch all of X's shows. Because what does Chaz X McCormick deck. I don't know if you've been watching Chaz McCormick. Killing He's it. now become almost a, a star right mm -hmm. now. And he's been a guy that's had to fight for his position yeah. over the past couple of years. And now he's a guy that when Altuve and Jordan were out, he was going out there producing, still doing Kyle it. Tucker. Kyle Tucker. He, uh, Kyle Tucker is my guy. Mauricio like 30, Dubon. 30, 30 every year. What? Friend of the program, yeah, Mauricio, Mauricio Dubon. 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 Yeah, yeah, he started off because Altuve was out. Yeah, off base. <laughs> he came on off base. Like, so you have to have guys step up. And now you get two of the biggest producers in, in baseball back in this lineup, right. they're going to be dangerous. You got experience, way more experience, like you said, to some of the players that were fighting for playing time. Kyle Tucker's resurgence hitting like 400 in the last two weeks. He's been so much fun to watch, get better, while all these other players have been out. Now you throw them in the mix. If they stay hot with Altuve, with Alvarez, it's going to be a really dangerous Houston Astros team. I've been saying it for the last month. The Astros are winning the AL West.